The Legend of Eros. The characters Aphrodite, Hera, Eris, Eros, Psyche. The sun is shining and blooming flowers exude their fresh scents. In the small cottage of an ancient Greek village, a woman called Aphrodite is giving birth to her baby child. Everything will be okay, calm down. After some minutes, the baby is finally born. Oh, my beautiful nephew. Congratulations, Aphrodite. You have a sweet and healthy boy. Let me see him. How are we going to call him? I have no idea. Eris, please help us. Let's call him Eros. I'm sure that he will be like a hero for us. That sounds like a good idea. Hera decides to take care of the newborn child whilst Aphrodite rests for a bit. As she is gently washing the baby for the first time, Hera notices two unusual black marks on Eris' back. She calmly puts the baby to sleep. Aphrodite, wake up! W what's happening? Look at the baby! Oh my god, what is this? I have no idea. It's very strange and I have never seen anything like that before. Aphrodite notices two little wings have grown out of Eris' back. Eris, come here! Look at the baby! I can't believe what is happening! Calm down! It's okay! I know what the problem is! He's a special baby! I knew it from the moment he was born! And what if he's sick? What if he'll die? I don't want my little child to die! I need him alive, here with me! We need to go to the doctor! It's not necessary! What if the doctor will say that uh, he is a monster and that he will have to die because it's impossible for a human being to have wings? Is this what you want? Of course not. So don't be scared. We will take care of him and we will keep it secret. Nobody should hear about our little secret. You're right. After some days, the baby's wings start to grow larger and larger. I'm so scared. I can't believe what's happening. Everything will be okay. Trust me. After some years, the baby has grown up to become a beautiful child. He fences going up, but his parents still won't allow that. Inside Aphrodite and Eris' room. We need to return to our workplaces, our Eris. Our baby is big enough now and he can stay with my mother. You know that she will take care of him as her own child. Yes, we have to do it because shortly we won't have money to leave. Mom, we'd have to return to our daily jobs. We need money. Can you take care of our child? Of course I can. What kind of question is that? He is my nephew. Perfect. Thank you very much for your understanding. Of course. I'm concerned that, because he is different, he will be judged by other kids. Don't forget that he is by no means allowed to go outside. I will be very careful with him. He will study from home. The next day... My sweetheart, Eros, I need to talk to you and I need you to understand me. I'm all eyes and ears, ma'am. Your father and I need to return to our jobs. You are old enough now to stay alone. You will be home educated and that's for your own well-being and safety. Why not? As you can see, you have two lovely wings on your back. This is surprising for a human being and if you will meet other people, they might be perplexed to see them and might react in unfortunate ways. For this reason, it's better to stay inside the house. But this is unfair. I can't stay indoors forever. I need to meet people, talk to them, go to a normal school. I know this is difficult, but it's healthy for you. Okay, ma'am, this will be very boring. You will get used to this idea. Aphrodite and Ares go to work. Later that day, children's voices and laughter can be heard from outdoors. Eros runs to the window and sees a young, beautiful girl with blonde hair and blue eyes. 
Her name is Psyche. Eris falls in love with a girl. He forgets about what his mother told him and goes out to talk to Psyche. Hi, my name is Eros. Hi, I'm Psyche. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. You are so beautiful. So are you. Are, are you going to school or not? Because I didn't see you today. No, I'm not. My parents say that I'm different and people will get scared of me if I go out. I shouldn't be here right now, but when I saw you, I realized that I need to talk to you. I've never seen someone like you. I couldn't even imagine the possibility of humans having wings. But you are so beautiful. I'm, I'm scared of you. I like you, actually. Let's meet tomorrow night. Here? Yes. What do you think about this idea? Amazing. See you soon, then. Don't tell anybody about this. Okay. Eris' parents didn't find out about his little getaway. Eris sneaked out of the house when everybody fell asleep and went to see Psyche again. The girl was so beautiful and Eris' heart started beating very fast. The sharp arrow of his love pierced Psyche's heart. After some time... Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry. What happened? I fell in love with a girl. How? Oh. I saw her through the window and I went out to talk to her. A red arrow sprang from my heart and punctured her delicate chest. How could it be possible? I want to marry her. I love her and you can't stop me from doing that. Oh my dear, you're just a teenager and this is your first love. You should think twice about this. It will be dangerous for your future. People won't accept you. Angry and without his will, Eris shot arrows through his parents' chest, leaving them unable to ever love again. He disappeared and his parents never saw him again. To this day, the lovesick Eris is still looking for innocent hearts full of passion and excitement to be shot with arrows of love. <laughs>